Olivia Rodrigo made waves at this year's Grammy Awards and took home a handful of awards. That might make you forget how young she is, but being so young, she only recently broke word that she moved out from her family home and is now living in her very own apartment. In this video, we'll check out what we know about Olivia's home life. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Olivia Rodrigo is an American singer and actress who made a name for her Herself on a number of Disney TV series before becoming a best-selling musician. Song since I was so young, like literally, my parents have VHS tapes of me. You know, with a song called Superman. I don't need no Superman to come and save me, to come and teach me lessons. Her debut album, Sour, was released in May of 2021, and it would include some gigantic hits like Good For You and Driver's License. And now that she's reigning over the top of the charts, Olivia has accomplished the childhood dream that she set for herself way back at the beginning of her journey, when she was first taking vocal lessons at just five years old. And I want to win Idol because what competing is fun for me. Influenced by her parents every step along the way, Olivia would eventually put her hopes for music career on hold while she broke into the entertainment industry through the world of acting. I have a job, I was in like first grade or something, and the only thing I had to do was like turn around and go, and like, Mom, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Like, this is a lot of work. And here I am. <laughs> Before she knew it, Olivia was co-starring with Jake Paul in the Disney series Bizarre Vark for its entire run. But over the course of 2020 and the worldwide pandemic, Olivia would return to her original ambitions of becoming a pop music singer. And in the span of only one year, she'd accomplish them wildly. Her very first original single, Driver's License, would jump to the top of the Billboard charts upon its release in January of 2021. By the end of the year, Spotify was recognizing the song as the most streamed single of 2021. But like I said, with all of these accomplishments, it can be easy to forget that Olivia is still just a young girl and only 19. In fact, she recently graduated from high school last June, and if she wasn't a celebrity, she'd be off somewhere finishing up her first year at university or college. But the lifestyle that accompanies fame is unique and sometimes complicated. Now Olivia must navigate the world of adulthood on her own. First step, getting her own apartment. When you turned 18 that you'd uh, you'd move out. Says, what's now. happening? I am moved out currently. You're talking to me in my very own apartment. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out Olivia Rodrigo's Bachelor of Pad. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Olivia grew up in the tourist and resort destination of the city of Temecula, which is technically part of the greater Los Angeles area. Born to parents Ronald and Sofia Rodrigo, Olivia's father is a Filipino-American, while her mother, Sofia, is of Irish and German descent. Ronald spends his days working as a therapist and Sofia is a teacher. As an only child in the Rodrigo household, it was always just Olivia and her parents. I want a pet snake, but Olivia was too young to really remember that. Even if Stripes was basically her roommate, she told G. They kept it in my bedroom when I was three years old. I'm like, you kept an effing snake in my bedroom? When she wasn't hanging out with cold-blooded reptiles, Olivia would spend quality time with members of her extended family. In fact, when talking about what her family has meant to her since day one, she stated, My heritage is part of who I am. I'm part Filipino on my dad's side of the family. My Filipino heritage comes from my great-grandfather. He came on a boat from the Philippines when he was just a teenager. Can you imagine moving to a whole new country all by herself? As she grew older, Olivia would only grow closer and closer to her family members. Today, she continues to be pen pals with her great-grandmother, and everything she knows how to do in the kitchen, she says she learned from her great-grandfather. Apparently, he's the one who taught her how to cook. Some traditions that have carried over into my generation are we actually make Filipino food and so we make lumpias, which are kind of like Filipino egg rolls and really yummy. Of course, growing up with so much talent isn't always fun and game. It's a lot of hard work too. And Olivia's parents always pushed her to be the greatest version of herself she could possibly be while at home. In fact, rather than send Olivia off to school like normal kids, she was homeschooled for most of her life. While speaking with Glamour magazine about how the pandemic had affected her, 
Olivia would provide some insight into her daily routine when she responded with. You know what, I am a homeschool kid, so I'm used to being in my house, my laptop, but with my parents. So I've kind of been preparing for this moment for a while and I feel very fortunate to be able to say that I'm in a really good place. I'm catching up on my schoolwork and I challenged myself before quarantine started to write a song every day. And I haven't missed a day yet. Does that sound like a lot of pressure? Of course it does. But thanks to the fact that Olivia's parents have been placing a certain level of expectation on their young daughter, since she first started taking piano lessons at the age of nine, Olivia was ready to deliver. In fact, these days, Olivia says her mom is the very person she plays all of her original musical compositions for, including the song that would come to change her life, Driver's License. Which one would you pick and why? Oh my god, that's so difficult. I really love Driver's License. After the release of that single and accomplishing the fulfillment of her wildest dreams, Olivia knew that it was time for a change. So in the early part of 2021, she finally struck out on her own and left behind her BFFs, otherwise known as her parents, to move out on her own. Or did she? While speaking with GQ during an episode of their web series, Actually Me, Olivia would let it slip that she was finally out there in the world living on her own. So what's her new apartment like? Well, as you might imagine, Olivia's kept the details of her bachelorette pad to a minimum. But while speaking with some folks over at SiriusXM, she did give everyone a little taste of her space. The coolest thing in your new apartment. Oh my gosh, I made this really beautiful um, painting when my album came out because I, I was always telling him how much I like, loved the art that was like in the Interscope studio. So. Okay, maybe not like a visual taste, but hey, at least now you know that she's got some funky artwork from the folks over at Interscope Records hanging on her walls. Speaking of things on her walls, Olivia also has one very unique piece of memorabilia from her career framed and hanging in a place of honor. An inspirational tweet from Cardi B. Cardi's original tweet to Olivia read, You're doing so good for your age. Don't let no toxic shit get to you, and don't let nobody restrict you from your voice. After reading that piece of advice, Olivia bawled her eyes out. She told GQ, I literally saw it and cried. I was like, thanks Cardi, I'm not going to listen to bullshit. Outside of that meaningful decor item, there's also her favorite room. And stick with me guys, because this might blow your minds, but it's her bedroom. You have a favorite room? Um, my bedroom always. Um, I have all my like bed and I just write in here and just like, I don't know, it's just my favorite place ever. Hey, what better place to write a few tear jerkers from than the comfort of your own mattress, right? That's what beds are primarily for, right? Wait, they're not? But here's the other thing with Olivia's big move. She hasn't quite fully committed to it yet. During that same interview, she would admit that even though she's already moved out, her parents come and stay with her, like all the time. Where are Rodrigo currently living with her parents? Technically, I'm not living with my parents. She'd clarify things a little further when she spoke with The Guardian a little bit later that year and mentioned. It's like a soft move out. My parents are there a lot of the time, but I love being alone and I love my own solitude. The only problem, Olivia's not exactly great at a few other important things like eating and cleaning. She finished by telling GQ, I love living alone, I just don't know how to take care of myself though. I don't know what to buy from the grocery store or how to clean up after myself. It's been a learning experience. I'm sure it has. Then again, Olivia is still only 19. As for what else Olivia likes to do now that she has her own place? Well, apparently she's invited her good friend Iris Apatow to live with her. And now these two, they get together regularly in their new place for a little sex in the city marathons. Well, that I can definitely relate to. All right, guys, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. What did you all think of Olivia Rodrigo's living situation? I might not have been able to take you too far inside of the pop star's new place, just yet, but she's still breaking it in. Give her a few more years and maybe a few more zip codes, and I'm sure she'll be showing off more of her home before long, and we'll be reporting on it. Be sure to drop a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Famous Entertainment if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Find me on Instagram if you'd like to chat, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!